Good morning. So yesterday, just we seen that what is the Android and uh, what we are going to cover in this course that we seen that. So today, first we will concentrate on Android history. So like how that Android has started, what are the steps involved in that history that we will concentrate here first. So let me open a document. So Android history. How this Android has started? So what is the background of that that we will see? So Android has invented by person called Andrew Rubin. Andrew Rubin. So actually, this R and D has started on two thousand three. But how this is started? So there is a small reason behind this R and D. So basically, the Andrew Rubin was Java developer. So one day he went to a shop to buy one digital camera on the 2003 year. He want to buy one digital camera and he went to the shop. So that day he seen that uh, one and uh, he surprised with the price. Then he compared with the normal camera to digital camera. So it is almost 10%, uh, 10% makes it uh, not 10%, 10 times greater price compared to the normal camera. Then he thought that uh, what is the difference between these two? He got a one point that is only it has one mature software. But that normal camera does not have that. Because of that's a one small reason the people are charging this much. Okay, finally buy that. But once he back from there, he thinking a lot. Why can't we make such software? Like why can't we design a one software for this? So then he started R&D. R&D means research and development. So that he started that R&D, research and development. But normally the research and development is not a small job that can done with a single person. It's a very uh, huge, that's why he's uh, three members, he asked his uh, friends, three members, so they also joined with them, joined with him. Then, once they are joined, then they started one company called Android INC. The company name has Android INC. So, once they started this company, Android INC, This completely, these four members are spending the time here for the R&D. So till that, like that, uh, two years has passed. So in the 2005, they got one solution. Means if we can approach in this way, definitely we get the success like that they have. But if you want to implement on such a product that they required a lot of amount and uh, time as well as the extra resources. So then what happened from the last two years, these people are spending the complete time on this R&D only, they are not doing any jobs. So everyone has structured with the funds. Means there is a problem started, lack of funds. If they want to 
go forward, they don't have a funds. Then what they did, they started approaching the different companies. So they approached many companies, including Nokia, Symbian, Microsoft, etc. A lot of companies they approached. And uh, finally, in uh, 2007, Google has accepted that, okay, this, okay, we can invest something on your company so that you can start R&D. Like that, um, they got some agreement in uh, 2007. And Google has invested some amount on this Android IMC. But in this once that Google has invested, so by that time, Google has asked these people, what is your feature goal? So they said few things. That is, one is, this is always an open source. And right, whatever we are doing, that will be always in open source. And presently, for the first version, it will come for the digital camera. And the second version will be for mobiles. Then after that, this is the normal mobile application. This is the normal mobile application. Then after that, this way will change as a operating system. Operating system for this uh, mobiles and other electronic gadgets also it will suitable in future. Then after that, uh, store where the people can like now the play store. So the way the people can download the apps for that uh, one store. And after that, it will, will release final as a development environment. So that other people can also work on this platform and they can uh, develop their own applications like this. So these are the agreements like this. But then immediately the other questions rise from the Google side. So why it is an open source? So here there is a one reason behind this open source. Whatever they did up to now that uh, R and D, so that they done on the platform called OHA. So that is open handset aliens. So this open handset aliens is nothing but it is the open source. That means it is a one community who will work like even though uh, we also can develop some of the application under this but when we work when we develop our work applications within uh, this platform that should be always an open source so that's why it is an open source okay then uh, google accepted these all the terms and they invested something so that's what happened now in the 2007 First, they released one version for the digital camera, but that not went until that uh, level. Okay, so let it be. Then in a 2008, so 2008, they released uh, one Android mobile, the first Android mobile. So first Android mobile. That is first standard mobile with HTC. Those days, there is a one manufacturer called HTC, right? So with HTC, this is released. But this is not an operating system. It is a basic mobile application. Like uh, now, how we will get very basic mobile, like uh, 2,000 rupees, 1,500 rupees, we'll get some small devices, right? Like uh, with keyboard. And all that we can say has the basic mobiles. The basic mobiles will contain one application. That application has some features like uh, call manager, contacts, 
settings extras one or two games like that so like that they released first version in 2008 so the first version has released in 2008 but uh, there is no response from the market side because people as no one has not uh, buying these mobiles as well as like the mobile manufacturer companies also accept this uh, HTC other people as not showing interest to uh, the means interest on these applications then what they did finally okay let uh, them continue then they will release in a 2009 again second version second version is released that is android same htc but this time it is as operating system so this released as operating system even though still that is released an operating system the end users as well as manufacturers not showing any interest because as of now, what they are using, right? What they are using, that is the that is the completely on a stable version. But whatever currently they are using now, this is not a stable because they don't know that newly released in a market, but uh, that uh, that is not a stable. So that is not stable. So then we, why we uh, do risk on this environment? So that's why the people is not showing an interest. Okay, let it be then. Because even if it is operating system also, whatever the applications they install on that, that only. Because no store available or no applications are available to install on that platform, right? That's why that is a Then 2010, they release the store that is the play store so release the play store so once they release the play store right in this play store uh some of the applications already that uh, these people has uploaded okay let now it will be little bit stable then in the next year almost in a by 2011 they succeeded with an uh, development environment so once they succeeded with the development environment, then almost end of the 2011 or from 2012 onwards, the development companies are showing an interest. At the same time, different uh, mobile manufacturers are also showing interest to download the applications. So download the applications. So. Oh, sorry, uh, showing interest on this operating system for with these mobiles. So then slowly it started developing that. So they continued that R&D for next few years and every six months or one year, they are releasing the new different products, new means new features, new versions. So then it became very huge in the span of three to four years, by 2014 or 15, almost it is occupied the 40% of the market. At current, it is almost 70% of the market is occupied by this. Right, so this is how the Android uh, start R&D started and how it is ended, that is this, right. Now this is okay, but now, uh, and that is free, it is fine. But in this gap, like means whatever is released here, that like each just now we discussed, there are uh, many features and many versions it is released, right? So now the versions we will see some of the versions. The first it is the cupcake, donut, eclair, royo. Gingerbread, gingerbread, honeycomb, ice cream sandwich, ice cream sandwich, jelly beans,
Kit Kat, Lollipop, Marshmallow, Nugget, Oreo, Oreo Pie, U, R, S and T. So till this, so there are uh, different versions which is released. So here now, each version has some benefits as well as some drawbacks. So whatever the drawbacks is coming, immediately the drawbacks is resolving. And then after that, it is uh, released in the market with the new features. So that's why it became a uh, very faster quick uh, developed application that we released in the market. So this is the this. Okay. Still hope it is clear or have any questions. Hope it is clear for everyone. Try it. Just a minute. So it is clear, right? Now, after this, so there is a, now we you, we need to, before going to the this version-wise features, we need to understand uh, some of the words. So that is like, first of all, in a market, how many types of mobiles are available? First, we have to understand this, types of mobiles. So types of mobiles, how many types? So. As per this, uh, like in a terminology, normal general way, like if you ask this question for general people, they say that uh, different models and all that. But as for the technology perspective, only it has a two. One is the feature phone, other is the smartphone. So what is feature phone? What is a smartphone? Feature phone is nothing but it is, it come with specific features. Like just now I told like the, in the 1500, 2000, we get on a normal mobiles, right? So that mobiles we can say has the feature. So it has the limitations. What limitations? Whatever the apps installed by the manufacturer, only those will be available means it is a sing small application which can be installed on that specific mobile so that we can use only that and that there is a limitations like low memory and uh, we yeah, cannot yeah. go whatever you want you cannot install and yeah. install so like that it is but if you comes to the smartphone <coughs> those will come with the <coughs> operating system so with operating system Nowadays, previously it was uh, different, but nowadays only two we have. One is the Android and other is the iOS. Only two types of mobiles now we got in the market. Right. So for this now, uh, this smartphone means user can install and uninstall the apps. Like while purchasing the device, if I got five applications, maybe today, today I want to install 10 applications, that 10 applications you can install and 10 applications you can uninstall whenever you want. So that is, so that will contain the operating system. Because of the operating system only, we are doing that here, it's right? That is the one key here, one thing here. So now whatever we are developing our course also, that is whatever the, on the top of the, this particular platform we are developing here. Means here I said like two, one is uh, Android and other is the iOS. But here we are concentrating in Android. Again in this Android, so there are uh, different kinds of uh, development. So Android development, there are three, three types of development is there in Android. First is the, first, first one in this is 
first here application development so application development application development and then next is the game development and then next is the os os but here uh in case if you major like whatever we are learning here that application development because in everywhere majority of the companies will work on application development only because if you want to develop on os level you should work in the manufacturer companies or google so then you get the chance to work on that but for this if you want to this this will be on a C, C++ and embedded. So this is the different technology for this. And for this, every company will develop this by using Java or Kotlin. So by using this, we will develop this Kotlin. Game development, as of now, majorly on Java only. Slowly that uh, now started with uh, Kotlin as well. So these two will be almost similar as this Kotlin. So, but here, here our course, this is the, is this one is our course. Right, Android application development is our course so that we have to do this, this. But this is okay. And one more here, there is a one more sub category, categorization is there. That is like here, uh, uh, if you want to develop mobile application, there are two types of mobile applications are there again. So one is the native native development and other is the crossword. So native means whatever the application we are developing, that can be suitable at a time only one environment that is here whatever we are developing so that will be either it's suitable and android or ios means whatever we are now learning here that is here that what that whatever we are learning here that is the this native development in case if you comes to the class platform, if you comes to the class platform, so once we develop the code that can be suitable for two environments like Android and iOS because nowadays only the two platforms are there, like Android and iOS. So that example as the Flutter, React, Xamarin, but this has certain limitations. All the majority of the applications, we cannot develop this. It's a very basic application level development we can do in this, but other things we cannot do here. This There are certain limitations. When we are integrating with the third parties like payment gateway, music players, the music applications, and IoT devices, so here, we are getting certain limitations. So that's why that native is the suggestible thing to develop. But even though if you want to become a cross-platform developer, at least you should have the minimum knowledge, minimum at least minimum knowledge on the native environment that is Android as well as the iOS. When you have certain knowledge on these two areas, then only you are perfectly eligible for this class platform that is the flutter or react or whatever this because what happens for let us say just now i said that uh, it is not supporting some flexible like some third parties but some third parties we can develop again by using the native code within the class platform environment so on such cases it will be very complicated so that's a reason you should have minimum knowledge on these two areas, right? Right, hope this is clear till this. Now, one thing like, uh, 
next thing here. So these are the very basic uh, things like uh, normal, we will understand that. So what is an application? And some people will call this app. What is the difference between these two words? So there is a one small and a silly different, like means both will be in a view, generalized view, both are the same. But in case that application or app, like web, in case if I'm opening a uh, means, uh, let us say Flipkart or Amazon. Flipkart has an application as well as it has an app. Application means that I'm opening in a browser, right? Flipkart, I'm opening in browser. Same time, Flipkart, I'm opening in our mobile. Means I'm installing, which we can install, that we can say has the app, which we cannot install, but still you are able to access that data that we can say has the application, right? Normally, that application in this. So means here, whatever we are developing, that will be application development. It should be run on this particular platforms, right? Then this is fine. But here now that we need to understand this, why we are preparing the native. See, for example, uh, small difference between these two and now. Now I'm developing an Android application by using the native, native development. So when I develop this native, what happens? I'll use the native libraries, which we are using means already that is available on the Android operating system side platform side. So that what happens in the same platform to load such styles and uh, properties, it will take very lesser time to load and lesser load on the application because always it will run on the same platform, right? Let us say, for example, uh, I'm opening the Flipkart in my system, okay? Maybe I'm using the Chrome browser and you are using the Safari browser. Someone is using the Firefox, someone using the Explorer. Like there are uh, different uh, kinds of browsers the people are using. So then what happens? The respective styles and everything should load while loading the application itself. So means here this here also the same. In case if you develop the this crash platform that can run on a two means we have to work something extra for that. Like here you have to uh, check suitable libraries and these things from the Android set as well as an iOS. Means first this application is working with Android. Maybe that cannot work on iOS. For that also we have to do some extra things. So like, like that is the reason this we have to concentrate to this. But it will be work. Means I'm saying, I'm not saying it can, it is not completely failed, but it has certain limitations. So within the dark limitations, we have to work on that area. This is. Right. So hope this is clear till this are any questions from anyone. So anyone new today here? As I told yesterday also, like I'm expecting every day it is an interactive session. So, how many are new today here? I think uh, Shobit Murugan already there yesterday. I think Shobit, you are the new person, right? So, like here, this section, uh, just I want to go with a little bit. So this is the 45 days duration. And in this, we will learn from the Android basic to till that uh, development level. And whatever the examples I'm covering that I'll take, I'll teach in front of you people, like I'll create a project and uh, I'll do each and every step by step with clear explanation. 
and after the class you will get the recording session and whatever we are like i'll share pdf material i'll upload in drive also the code whatever the code we are discussing right that codes also i'll upload here and i'll share that drive link for you people and uh, if in case of some of the topics which are important for interview point of view that also i'll uh, tell you in detail like how to to how to answer such questions in interviews and uh, in case if any placements which are going in my own contacts i'll refer those even though in my company also all android developers are my students only all right so this uh, these are all the things i can do from my side like uh, topics wise if you go with uh, like uh, mv mvc architecture mvm architecture retrofit voli google maps play store and uh, how to manage the ads material design and uh, such kind of all the things uh, we will do that so just i already discussed in detail course content uh, today just i don't want to go with in detail again so this all like i already told that initial uh, 3 to 4 days i spent 30 to 40 minutes now it's uh, your time to ask if you have any questions you can ask the questions anyone any questions no questions so with i think today you are the new person you have any questions no sir okay so other people okay. even though one more thing like uh, maybe i told i forgot that uh, once that uh, exact uh, our course is started we will spend one hour session so then uh, there i'll uh, create one whatsapp group as well so whatever you have the uh, questions and all so that you can post on this group so from someone you can answer that or i'll answer that question so that your questions will clarify so that one more thing like okay hope everything is clear right then uh, we will meet on tomorrow 7 a.m okay thank you